friends welcome back to my channel if you don't know who i am my name is ronke we have a couple of new subscribers on our channel welcome so if you haven't already subscribe down below give me a thumbs up because you like this video so today i'm going to be just testing out new makeup i've seen a lot of these videos done on youtube before and i'm just like you know what why don't you test out some new makeup too i was supposed to review the kkw beauty palette and i haven't gotten it yet we'll see when it's coming maybe this week or next i also ordered a couple of things from from Makeup Revolution Pro. I think they're like a UK brace brand. I'm not really sure, but we'll see. So let's jump into this tutorial. And yeah, first product that I've never tried before, um, that I've always wanted to try, but I've seen a lot is the makeup, makeup, <laughs> the milk makeup blur stick it actually came out a while ago. When it first came out, I should have tried it, but I'm very, I'm very weird when I when it comes to trying out things. So it's basically a primer, and it comes in a stick. Come on, open, open. I'm always having problems with opening things. So you, it's just basically like deodorant. It smells kind of nice, you know. It's true, silicone-free, translucent blur stick minimizes the appearance of pores and fine lines to create a smooth matte, smooth, smooth smooth matte finish blurring michael's fears perfect skin and create a smooth base for makeup use it alone as an invisible foundation or under makeup as primer so basically that is what it says it does so I'm why did i just put it on my lips this seems like it'd be really good for oily skin because it's really making my skin very matte but it also has that white cast so let us see how that is it's usually like test new makeup frequently or are you more of a like i use this makeup and like that's all i use i don't really like to test new makeup kind of person comment down below let me know but me i don't really like testing on new makeup if i'm going to be totally honest because you never know this thing will make you break out now and then next thing you know your whole skin is ruined because of one product that you went gonna try because of testing new makeup video color correct with my color corrector that I usually use all the time, my MAC Prep and Prime. Um, I haven't had any new one that I've wanted to try yet, so you guys give me new suggestions of correctors that you uh, want to try. A lot of people always ask me, like, why do you use corrector? Like, what is the, the use and things like that? Basically, corrector is for dark under eye circles and uh, if you don't use corrector sometimes depending on the foundation that you use it could possibly turn the foundation gray so before i buy any foundation especially sephora brands and things like that i always like to test it out and get a sample i'm going to be using the marc jacobs shameless foundation in y 450 and i just have like a little sample of it foundation came out again i'm very very late testing new makeup late honestly i'm gonna just use my finger as i usually do and just dab a little bit of the foundation on my skin i'm gonna use a brush to blend that out and this matches me wow it has that nice yellow undertone that most foundations don't have. A lot of times with foundations, I don't like to switch up my foundation too many times because you just never know. Like you don't want to be putting things on your face that you don't really um, kind of trust, I guess. A bit of a sense to it, but the match I really like. From now on. These lies will not be blinded by the light. Sorry guys, I just watched The Greatest Showman and like, if you've not watched that movie, you need to because it will give you so much motivation. I like it because it's very yellow. Like it's actually more yellow. So the foundations that I've used have more red. And I really like this because it has more yellow undertone. Yes. Ooh. Hmm. Wow. And Maybelline. I mean, this is not really new because I used it in my last tutorial. Uh, so, but I'm gonna mix it with my my LA Girl Pro Concealer because this is a bit light. I'm 
gonna use my blender. This blender is actually by Pure Cosmetics. So this powder is definitely not new to me, um, but it is pretty new in the sense that it's not, it's like last year launch, but this is Max, Max, wow. Patrick's powder from Mac. So random. Set my whole face, then bake my under eye. So that's basically the course of action right now. The Anastasia Cutter Kit. I got a very huge package from CoverGirl and like I'm so thankful and this brow pomade was part of it and it comes with a little brush and the top and then the brow pomade at the bottom. So this is in dark. I think this is the darkest shade and dip my brush into the pomade and it actually is very smooth. Again, this is CoverGirl, so it's pretty affordable too. Basically, it feels like any other brow pomade. I actually don't know if it's even in the stores, but if you guys have not checked this out, this is this is nice. Not going to lie, I'm going to use this like again after this tutorial. $8. Wow, $8 brow pomade. Hmm, okay. Dandy NC45 concealer to clean up my underbrow before I move on to the eyes. I feel like the eyes are where most of the newer products are on. Concealer I used under my eyes to just create like an eyeshadow base for the popping eyeshadow I'm about to wear. Hearing a lot about sugar pill for a very long time. Flame point eyeshadow. So I'm gonna try that out today also going to use the contour kit that I used for my face to blend out the colors just kind of like a transition color Jesus very pigmented a little bit onto my lash line I'm gonna use another sugar I just bought like the singles because I was like I've never tried sugar pill before I don't want to like make my own pan or anything so I just got like the popular color so I got like butter cupcake butter cup cream butter cup the yellow sha the yellow I got the yellow but I'm obviously not using it for this look because it's not like a sunset look it's more like a green look guys somebody's at the door I just got a package which is very weird that I'm doing this video and then I got a package. It's a fine package. Um, it's from NARS and it's so pretty. Look at it. Ooh, who is that? It's me. Is it not you? <laughs> who is this baby girl? NARS Airdem. 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 Like, you know, put your hands in the Airdem. Airdem. Very <laughs> nice for spring. And uh, let me open it. Oh. Those yellows, greens, and blues. Yes. Hank and Henry, you guys, I've actually, this is one of my like fourth or fifth of their um, glitter packs, like nice packaged eyeshadow duo. So they, they're duos, but then they also come with a pigment on the bottom which I really like because it's just nice. I'm gonna park, park it on, park it on. I'm gonna pack it on, on in like a circular kind of motion. You just basically shake out the pigment. So I just turn it upside down, shake it out. Ooh, so pretty. So funny story my camera actually cut off and yeah i didn't even realize it small brush and i detailed my eyes in black and yeah brush off that powder had this palette for a very long time since it came out actually i thought i was going to do a review but i never got to it so this is the bretman rock and Morphe Brushes Babe in Paradise Highlight Palette. It's 
So I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl Queen Major Shade Collection, and this is in Cakewalk. Honest. The reason why most of the rest of the video was kind of like no sound was because I wasn't wearing my mic. The whole time I wasn't wearing my mic and I was like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna continue my tutorial. Sometimes I get so into like doing my makeup because it's so therapeutic to me that I sometimes forget that I'm recording and like I need to be mic'd up and things like that even though I've been doing this for such a long time. But it's because I love makeup. But this is basically the final look. Um, I really liked most of the products that I tried. The only thing that I did not necessarily like was that CoverGirl lipstick. It didn't really have like a lot of coverage, but the gloss kind of popped it a little bit. So yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys, I finally lent Shaku Shaku and I also lent the dance. You know, the dance where they're like people are doing like this. I finally lent it yesterday. So. <laughs> Cause I'm excited, you know, just preparing my steps, my dance steps for the wedding. If you guys don't know, I'm getting married this year. So, hi. <gasps> okay, that was so random.